just as big at the land of the demon as their skipper, David Neitz. Yes, indeed. He is equally important to the Melbourne Footy Club. He also is an, he's a super kick for goal, and actually it's a barometer of how he's playing. See, over 65% is a terrific result. 76% Six, of his goals from marks, 44% of his marks are contested. He hasn't missed a game since round 20 in 2000. That's a terrific uh, show of resilience. He's got a great physical presence, a great penetrating kick. Is he too one-dimensional? Can he be a great captain from full forward? They are the questions that are being raised just at the moment. All right, well, there he is. David needs a big night. Last year, he was held goalless on just one occasion against Essendon. Yes. That's already happened this year, and last week enough. against the Hawks. That is enough, Edward. One. He started well. James McDonald. Good lead, strong. Kicks inside the 50. Neats. Uncontested. Got March 45 out. Got a check, Dennis. Guess we got a check from back there, but Neats did wrong foot him uh, at the initial uh, lead here. He needed a hand here, Darren Gasper. I mean, someone has to peel off. Well, that is a long lead. The ball's in the air a long time. It needed Callaway to come in. Goalless last week. Just the four kicks. 51 metres out. Oh. It's on its way. It's good. Melbourne get their second. Moment, Gary. Long kick inside. It's going to go That's over the head work. of the pack. That work. was a wobbly old kick, but it actually fooled the Richmond defence. Gasper underneath it, and David Neitz 25 metres directly in front for goal number two. Good miss, wasn't it, Gary? I mean, this kid, Wheatley, is a yep. monster kick, and even his mongrel punt yep. sailed about 15 metres further. Roden being taken from the ground now. Well, they've got to get Bizzle accountable. McDonald coming off for a spell. He has been sensational here. Um, Godfrey on. Not sure whether I'll be doing that with uh, nine touches under your belt. No. Inside 50s, 11-4 in favour of Melbourne. So, Neats, have a look at this. Best seat in the house for this kick. No worries at all. That's taken a right turn. About 20 metres through the goalpost. Neats gets his second. This is a time for this man to set a mark on this game. From 55, he comes in. It's a thumping kick. It's a huge kick. It needs a shepherd. Didn't get one. Just touched on the line by Neats. In fact, I reckon it could have bounced off his foot it's here. Mark. Or has he paid the mark? He's paid the mark to David Neitz. Marked it before it crossed the line. Marked it before it crossed the line. Oh, you he heard it. Yeah. No, Neitz, he's there. Umpire McBurney. Tiger fans are furious. I'd love to see it again, because I reckon it might have bounced off his foot through. Well, I reckon it was a double grab. That, that's what the uh, Richmond bikes would be uh, pleading the case of. There's certainly more significant than that, though, and that was a carry charm by Jeff White. All right, let's have a look at this one. Neitz comes in. He's kicked goal number three. Suddenly, it's 38 points in favour of the Demons. David Neitz. That was interesting. Didn't have it for all that long. Watch it again. Coming back with a flight of it. What's the back of his heel, though? Bang. Just off it. But he paid the mark, didn't he? Mm. Go yeah. either way. Now it's back to 26. They still lead this quarter by two points, leading by 24 at quarter time. But suddenly the Tigers are starting to lift. Out of the centre, though. Demons, chance to reply. Bizzle crashing through. Gets the handball working. Here's a chance now again for Godfrey. The kick was a beauty. The skipper needs to kick this one. There's two goals so far. Make like that three. Big, three goals for the night. Big kick, this uh, nice little run along here by the Richmond Footy Club. Again, Bizzle off half back. He's so creative. He makes good decisions. Nice work by Godfrey, who can sometimes miss a target. And, uh, well, Big Neats, he's got three already. When he's on, he's on. So, Big Neater, the Tigers have kicked the last two. The captain's goal required. And the captain's goal delivered on order. That's a beauty. Neats has kicked four. Wheatley's kick was a beauty though, out to Davey, does the blind turn beautifully, finds some space, stops, props, then walks past an opponent, <laughs> running around them, he looked like Diego Maradona as he kicked the ball forward, off the hands of the pack, Holland dives in on top, Gasper oh, threw it, right. he threw that out, dives in on top, Holland gets another go, handballs forward, needs into the open goal and gets it, Aaron he's Davey. kicked five before half time, Aaron Davey in, he got it through the traffic, they are bewildered when he, when he got that. They were just totally bewildered. He did. His opponent didn't want to encroach on him. He thought 
It'll make it too easy for him to sidestep. You see how they stayed still. Watch this. I think it's hard to play yeah. that you're talking about. Yeah, he's, look, he won't go at him. He says, if I run oh. at him, I'm easy meat. Huh? Yeah. I'm easy meat if I run at him. And he, he became <laughs> easier than easy meat. Mesmerised. Oh. He was like a rabbit in the headlights. i got to say, though, from. Tr uh, Tim and Dale, unlucky down here. True. Went into the ground not yep. to get a free kick, and it goes at the other end and a goal. So the Richmond fans... They'd be disappointed with that result, but I'll tell you what, five before half time. Well, that was astonishing by Hyde. Richo has got it. Nice kick inside. No, it wasn't a nice oh. kick. I thought he had a player on. He had a player on. He just missed him. Now, a big chance for the Demons. Godfrey's oh. kick was magnificent. And Neitz, who has got five goals, one on the board tonight, gets his first chance for a goal in the third term. Something about the Richmond back line, I would hazard a guess that never in his career has Darren Gasper been moved off uh, onto three opponents because they've all beaten him. Well, Neitz kicked five on him in the first half, and then Holland took several marks in this third quarter, and he was moved away, and he's ended up uh, running around with Miller now. So very rarely would that champion be moved around. His six marks all inside 50. Huge man comes in, lovely kick. Oh. Six goals, one on the night to the captain. The Demons reply again. The uh, Richmond supporters with hurling abuse to the Tiger huddle across the fence there. The Melbourne players affording themselves a quick glance at the scoreboard that looks pretty good for them. McDonald out of the middle, thank you, Tony. And meets on the end of the 25 metres out. So bear in mind, this time last week, the Tigers led by 39 points. That's a turnaround of 96 points to the moment. About to get over 100. McDonald's amazing. The amount of clearances he gets from the midfield on his non-dominant left foot, it's staggering. I don't know whether he just stands that side and that's his starting point or whether he feigns to the left all the time, but it just consistently happens. Meets for number seven. Gun barrel strike. Seven to David Meets. Well, uh, James McDonald started the first quarter. He started it again out of the middle here. And again, David Neitz on the end of it. And what a difference a big, strong forward makes down the other end. Darren Gasper, his first opponent, sitting at full forward. Have a look at this. Too much room. And as you said, Dermot, it probably worked in their favour. Half a dozen times the ball's come inside 50 for Melbourne with mongrel-type floating kicks. That gives the forward an advantage because they react first. And he's been able to mark low down. Dermot. On the lead, Green had it fisted away. Brown comes again. Gets the crumb after the kick, goes to Vardy. Vardy in the centre square. The short one is on to Neitz. And Neitz is marked about 40 metres out. Will line up at his eighth. Well, Ray Hall tried to second-guess that one, Dennis. If we get a view here, Ray Hall's all... Right now, Ray Hall's running at goals. He's got to stop and come back. So Neitz shooting at goal. And like a date made at closing time, this is turning ugly. Neats inside the 50. Long bomb. He likes it. It's a goal. He's got eight. And is hurt. Bizzle. Long kick with plenty of hang time. Darren Bennett's watching tonight. He'd like that one. And a free kick has been plucked out. It's going to go the way of Melbourne. Neats. Number nine coming up. Let's have a tune in, see what it's for. It's yeah, here. Oh. If we see him, we pay him. I mean, obviously, obviously they're not there. Simon Godfrey uh, stayed down a little bit, probably five seconds. You know he's hurt if he stays down that long. And he's got up to his feet now. So David Neitz for nine goals on the night. Has kicked eight goals, one. Has kicked nine goals, one. Number nine, number nine. You often get that, Gary, when you've got an undersized full back. Well, Zandak isn't exactly undersized, but against Neitz he is, because of the monstrous different. You often get holding infringements against the smaller full back because you just get drawn into it. You can't compete with them in when you stand up with the ball to the ball at its highest point. Very surprised Andrew Callaway hasn't been given a job on Neitz. Yeah, for a little search. while. So on unification night, David Neitz puts his name in the record books alongside one of the greats.
Fred Fanning, the last player to boot nine against the Tigers. And 47, if you don't mind. Out, and he's going to run out the clock. Goes short. Oh, oh, oh. Have a shot. Go tall. He's cramped up. 50 he metres. <laughs> <laughs> Got to kick a tall for the occasion, surely. <laughs> If yeah. ever you can leerise a bit, Dermot, it'd be now it's with a, nine it's on the ball. metres out. It's an open goal square. The siren's going to go. He's just, he, he has have a to kick this. He'll have to kick ten. this 80 metres. Oh, oh no. Mm. <laughs> and that was a form of skipper booing. <laughs> <laughs> Got enjoying Davey's success. And there's a man who knew all about success tonight. David Neitz with nine. Nine goals goes into the record books. The game's against the Tigers. Richardson. Comes a fair way up the ground to shake his hand. The man who got nine on nine. Yes, he certainly was nine goal effort tonight. Uh, geez, the boys in the box were willing you on to go for the big tour there and make it ten. Yeah, look, uh, thought went through my mind, but uh, nah, look, it was just a fantastic effort by the boys to uh, to get back after a uh, after a hard week and um, you know, fantastic to see all the Melbourne the true Melbourne people out here on the ground before the game. It was uh, a special special occasion for the club and. Um, Hopefully we can uh, go on and do bigger and better things from here. Please, I mean, you look around the ground tonight, you, you really didn't have a, a bloke down all night, did you? Uh, look, that's the sort of effort that we need. Everyone chipping in, doing their little bit, and um, that's when we play our best. So congratulations to the boys tonight. They uh, are up against it and uh, hit past with five colours tonight. How are you travelling? You're cramped up there towards the end. You, you're back all right? Yeah, no, the back's fine. Just uh, yeah, cramped up a little bit, but that's, uh, yeah, no, everything's fine. Young Aaron Dave, he's a revelation, isn't he? Uh, he's a little excitement, Sean. He's uh, just magnificent, so uh, he's just sneaking a couple of goals and just creates a bit of buzz. He's fantastic for our fans. Well, I've got a sneaking suspicion there's going to be a bit of a buzz in the rooms too, so why don't you head down there? Absolutely. Thanks, Tony. Good on you, mate. David Neitz, what a night. Nine goals, one for the skipper. He had 14 disposals, took 10 marks, just was absolutely sensational. A dominant player on the ground. The Melbourne fans are pretty happy. Here's the song. Goalless last week, eh? Four kicks. Unbelievable. <laughs> Melbourne had just three more disposals on the night, but 27 more inside 50s than Richmond. But it's been a night for David Neitz, as you said, uh, Dennis. He kicked nine on nine, wearing number nine. I think that was a song mm. the Beatles had at one stage, wasn't it? So why not? <laughs> Let's go to the break on nine and have a look at what has been a huge night in the career for this man, the Melbourne captain, David Neitz. I'm David Neitz, and this is my Friday night. Neitz gets in front of the lance of the scoreboard and looks pretty good for him. Neitz inside the third. Richmond, this time last week, were singing the song that defeated Collingwood by 40 points. And six, six days ago, Melbourne had lost by a big night for their skipper, David Neitz. He booted nine. And, uh, and David Neitz, what a super captain he is, you know. He had no, uh, no passengers, that's for sure. Uh, just sitting up in the stands before the game to see the 40-odd ex-players come together. I know it was something that you drove pretty passionately. It was a... Yeah. Let's have a look at the votes. Gary Lyons given them for the magnificent Toyota. Lou Richards medal, the player of the year. And the number nine features prominently David Neitz, number nine for Melbourne. They're skipping nine goals. He gets nine votes.